Howdy YouTube and welcome back to more Ark Survival Evolved with me, Rebster. I made a little progress here. As you might notice, a couple of things. I made a little uh, ramp platform thing down here. This is basically so I can hop off the boat without having to climb the rocks and everything. I got Bob a friend. Everybody, I'd like you to meet... Oops! I'm going to look for a little swim here. I'd like everybody to meet Petra. And, oh, you already know Bob, so. Give her some health boost here. Ah, Bob, help. Next. Okay. Alright, um, I tamed up Petra right after I tamed up Boeing. Now that sounds about right. Yeah, Boeing's not very happy. He's a little grumpy. But... I was able to tame him up. This is the one, uh, this is the, t the Tyranidon we were trying to tame at the end of the last video. Uh, while I was trying to tame him up, Petra, or, well, Petra, basically walked by and was level 110, so I thought, you know what? I want to get Bob a friend. So I tamed her too. So, uh, yeah, no, that's probably not how you spell the word Boeing, but I don't care. It's a play on words. He's a, he's, a, he's a bird, he flies, Boeing's an airplane company, I'm, that, I, that's what I'm going with, okay? Leave me alone. Anyway, Boeing's pretty good here. He's got uh, 11,000 health, not much in the way of stamina or weight, but he has a lot of melee damage and a decent movement speed. So, um, Boeing, unfortunately, is not really made for, well, he's not made for doing anything other than flying me back and forth. As you can see, he's pretty darn fast. He has a, uh, a Tranodons in general have a really cool move. It's a barrel roll. I don't think it's called a barrel roll, but that's what I call it. Anyway, uh, it's pretty cool. It does a lot of damage, but it takes a lot of stamina. You see the stamina on the top left hand, sorry, right hand corner. That damn T-Rex down there. Anyway, so we're gonna go up here today. Oh, yes, I almost forgot the house, obviously. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, I made a second set of walls, and I'm going to go three walls high and then make a second floor. And eventually it's all going to be stone and then metal, because I, I did unlock... Oh, I used a whole bunch of my points oops, and unlock a ton of stuff here. All the way down to... Oh, not that far. Uh, I got as far as the fabricator, which is going to be good. Um, metal. I can make metal buildings now. Grappling hooks. Grappling hooks are pretty cool, but I need a crossbow to use them. I don't know why I chose the silencer. There's no point. I'm playing by myself. There's nobody here to worry about that. Uh, chitin or chitin, chitin armor. Uh, large crop plot. Rifle. Pistol. Climbing pick. Toilet. I don't know why I chose a toilet. I just did. Uh, sickle. It's for good, good for getting some meat off of some creatures. Oh, here we go. Uh, useful for shearing off slices of prime fish. That'll come in handy in the future. Uh, and then a sword, which is just fun to use. I really don't need a sword. And a bunch of other stuff, as you can see. Crossbow. I want to get a crossbow, but I need lots of metal for that. And, well, Boeing doesn't actually do metal. I mean, what I mean to do metal, he doesn't carry anything but me. If I tried to carry a bunch of items, he'd be overweight. All right, so. Let's go. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to go fly in this general direction. Because I believe over here, there should be Argentavis, says, says, or Argies. Ooh, metal. Oh, I'd love to grab some, but there's no way I can carry metal. Those are, these are very interesting dinosaurs here. These are called, uh, Pachyorhinosaurus's. Uh, they're docile as long as you don't startle them. If you startle them, they release a bunch of gas. Yeah, it's kind of weird. They release gas that can either enrage or scare. Pretty cool. Pretty useful if you're traveling across the land. Oh, shoot, there's an RG. Holy crap. You want to run into it? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Get some altitude right quick. Oh, yeah, we got RGs everywhere. Look at that. See? They look like giant pigeons. Anyway, um, oh, looks like the Argies are fighting something down there. 
saw a T-Rex over there too. Oh, there it is. Now, Argies aren't hard to tame. It's just, uh, well, they're hard to kind of get the attention of. Like, you get their attention and they follow you for a while. So what I'll probably do is, uh, whoa, hello. Right over here in front of this metal, I'll probably build a small little, uh, a little building. Large enough to, uh, capture one of them. I'll basically just, I'll, I'll fly over to one and have Boeing bite it and have it follow me over to the cage. And, uh, I'll just fly it in the cage and, uh, do that. So, whatever. We'll see how well that works, but I want to find a high-level one first. So, before we do that, I need to get some crystals so I can make a spyglass. Ugh, the damn T-Rexes are everywhere. Some good-looking Argies, though. They're really cool colors. That black stuff is called obsidian. That's what you make polymer out of. Well, one of the things you make polymer out of. You make polymer out of other things, but that's the main one. There should be some crystal right over here, I believe. Ah, there it is. Gotta be careful. When I was over here on my test world, I came over here and I got to get some crystal, and as soon as I hopped off my my, my bird, like a, a bunch of raptors came flying out of the bushes. They killed me and my bird. Alright, 50 ought to be enough. 50 pieces of crystal, 50 pounds. It's a good thing uh, Boeing can hold a little bit of weight. Alright, I'm going to head back to base, get the spyglass made, and I uh, guess we'll go looking for drops. I'll have to wait till nighttime though. Once it gets dark, we'll head out and look for some drops. So we'll see you all in a bit. Alright, we're back. Let's check out this green drop here. Hopefully it's got some useful stuff in it. Gotta watch out, you never know if there's gonna be something around here. Right, let's see, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, some trank arrows. Look at that. This regular oh really? Really game? Really? Ugh, that is so annoying. Alright, well anyway, this is where you can make uh cryopods. You have to make them in drops, because you don't I don't have access to a tech generator. So, you see this thing only has 30 health left? It loses like 10 health. Time to go! Holy shit! That was close! I heard the stomping right in the middle of my, my, my sentence. 45 female. Anyway, the drops, once they run out of health, they disappear. Whatever's in them disappears with them. I don't need that spyglass because I just made one. Anyway. So if I wanted to make a cryopod, I'd have to get all the materials, fly to one of these drops, and put them all in there, and make it. Which makes things so much easier, because in a, you know, in a, in a live server, time doesn't stop. What I mean is, um, a live server, just, like, if, when I close the game, my dinos are frozen in time. They don't, they don't lose health, they don't lose anything. But... In a live server, the game never stops, so I could leave for a week and come back and all my dinos would be dead because they have no food and I didn't feed them. raptors. Yeah, this is the kind of thing you don't want to try to take on without a flying creature. Three raptors, all... Uh, oh god. What the hell? What the hell? Oh my... What the hell? Like I said, you don't want to try to take on raptors and there's more than one. See what's in this drop over here if we can get to it without dying. And it's gone. Figures. These guys are interesting. Let's see what they call it again? Uh Calicotherium. Calico. Calico, as we call them. Well, I call them calicos. Everybody else calls them something else. Um they're oh, it's hard to describe what they are. I really don't know what they are. They're, they're, I don't actually know what the, what they are, like what, what to call them. They're they're really strange creatures. The only way to tame them is to uh, give them beer. I am not joking. You have to, have to make beer and give it to them. 
like set it down in front of them basically and you give it to them. It is the goofiest thing, but that's how you tame them. And I don't know what they're good for, other than they throw things. Like, you like, pick up chunks of earth and they throw it at enemies and they do damage that way. That's about it. Anyway, so, back to the subject of drops. As you can see off in the distance there, every single one of those colored lights is a drop. The red ones are the best ones. We won't be going towards any red ones anytime soon, because they never spawn over in this area. Yellow ones are the second best. They're a lot closer, and purple is the third. Ah, shut up down there! God, I hate this area. The ambience of the wolves howling is so irritating. It's not because I'm afraid of the wolves in there. There are no wolves. There are no wolves in these foot horse. That, that is just ambience. Or ambiance, ambiance, whatever you want to call it. The wolves are only located in the cold area up there on the mountains, and they are terrifying. If you're on foot and you hear a howl, you're dead. Unless you got a fully automatic weapon or a shotgun, you're not surviving. You know, take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, anybody could survive if they play right. That's not my point. Um, so anyway... The white drops are the lowest level drops, they're like level 10. Green, I think, is level 25. Blue is 35. Four, uh, sorry, four. Uh, purple is 45. Yellow is 55. And red is 65. Or 60, I forget exactly. Something like that. Every drop uh, has, a, has something in it, but it doesn't always have something useful. Interesting on that last one, though, we got... Oh, I did get it. Oh, the parachutes. I didn't get the parachutes. Of all things to have in that damn drop was exactly the thing I was trying to make the whole time. <sighs> it's just a game for you. Anyway. Alright, well, uh... I'm sitting here explaining everything. I don't even know what I'm trying to do. Um... Oh, I've got a level. Uh... Oops, let me make sure I remember. Level 67. Only 11 more levels and I can tame a T-Rex. <laughs> Alright, then. Well, I hate to say it, but how about we kill this uh, Tech Pariser so we can get some more Tech stuff. Some stamina first. I hate killing parasers. Now, in order to go to the cold biome, I would need fur armor, because I would freeze to death if I got too far if too far in there. Thankfully, the people who created this map... Uh, this Did I ever explain that this is a new map? Oh my god, I forgot to explain that, didn't I? I am so sorry. I am here talking away and explaining stuff like I've already explained everything. I am so sorry. Hello, what's this? Oh, no, 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 I'm not doing that. Okay, I, I might as well talk about this right quick. This is a Pteranodon egg. It is dropped by a ra it's just a random, random Pteranodon egg dropped by a female Pteranodon. Here's the problem. Any dinosaur, and I mean any dinosaur, if you take an egg... They will come after you. Now, I'm not too concerned with some of these Trinidons because this one's level 16. I could shoot it in the back of the head with my crossbow and kill it. But I think the other one is somewhere else. Not a very good shot with the crossbow either. Ah, oh, he moved. Oh, I got it. It's gonna seem like cannibalism, but trust me, it doesn't make a difference. They're all the same meat anyway. 
I don't know where the other one went. Wait, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, good. Sometimes they'll come after you, sometimes they won't. Depends on how far away you are. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, this game, this map, is a new map. This is not a map... This map just came out a few weeks ago. A few months ago? Weeks ago? I forgot. I think it was a couple weeks ago. It's brand new to the game, and I explored it for a week. And I really enjoyed it, so that's why I decided to go ahead and make a series on it. Look at this. It's almost the exact same thing that was in that previous... Bow? I don't need a bow. Um, that's nice. I got a, a blood extraction syringe. Now, you need this in order to make uh, he healing items. Well, that's one way to make a healing item. There's another way to make it. Anyway. Okay. Um, this is a brand new map. Sorry, I know I'm all over the place with my talking. This is a brand new map. Uh, it's got pretty much everything in it except for some of the tech variants of the dinosaurs. I think there's only like tech rexes, raptors, and parasaurs. Oh, and the stegos. That's it. There's nothing else. At least I didn't see anything else when I was playing uh, the other week. Anyway, I think the goal, well, my next goal now should be to tame an Argent or Argentavis. I already explained about those, I think. If I haven't, then... Well, I'll explain some other time. Uh, they're giant birds, basically, and they can carry a lot of weight. So I want to tame one of them. So what I'm going to do is uh, take care of a few things here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, go build a little small base up there on that mountain. It's a small capture base. And hopefully I'll be able to capture an Argy. So let me get some stuff organized. Let's put that here. Uh, wait, we'll put that there. What am I doing? Um, oil, okay, uh, anyway. Um, I'm gonna get some stuff organized right quick, gather some materials, and I'm gonna go do that. So, I'll see y'all in a minute. Uh, okay. Right, yeah, right, I don't know where these, where these packies are. Is that a, oh god, I thought that was a wyvern. Yes, there's dragons in this game, by the way, or well, wyverns, as some people call them. I think we can make it right here where this rock is. Uh oh, oh, I thought that was a, I did it again. I thought that was something else. It's just a pteranodon. All right, let's see. Ah, structures, stone. All right, I need a three by three, no, four by four foundation. Oh, I need I need thatch. Ah, dang it, thatch and wood, of course. Must get closer. Okay, Boeing, hold that for me, please. All right, like I said, I'm gonna build this right quick, and when I'm done, we're gonna go find a, tr uh, a pteranodon. A pteranodon. Ah. I'm gonna go find an argy to tame. 114. Oh, these... Where are the... Uh, whatever. Anyway, we'll be back. Or I'll be back. Whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> I'll be right back. Come on. Go to sleep, big bird. There we go. Whew. That'd be worried. Welcome back, YouTube. As you can see, I built the taming pin. It's a lot bigger than I anticipated, but... Or I originally wanted to do, but I decided to make a really big one just in case. And I'm glad I did, because it was worth it. A 118 male RG. Wow. There's probably a higher level one over there, but I don't really care. 
Should be plenty of high enough level. Uh, let's see. Hold on, let's for you. Okay, all we need is to go kill something that has prime meat. Preferably a Bronto. Right. It'll be a while before he wakes up, so... If we get some prime meat, he'll tame up real fast. There's a level 5, or 12 Bronto right here, yes. Hit it as much as I can with my crossbow before I get on, uh... Okay. Well, they could get stuck. Before I hate killing Broncos, but can't see. Red splashing. Okay, what's that? I don't think I need. Is that me? You gained a level? Yes. Level 77. I didn't think I'd gain that many levels, but I did. Okay, we're gonna leave you up here. Hold on to this regular meat for me. And give me all the materials you had, because I'm going to build the, the saddle for this guy. Oh, he did look like it. Okay. Alright. There we go. I know it's not going to take that much prime meat, but I don't care. Let them have it all. Alright. Doing pretty good today. Alright. Let's see. Saddle, saddle, saddle. Here we go. Um, oh, fiber. That's right. Gather up some fiber here. Should be enough. Yep. Boom. <laughs> Alright. It's gonna be level one. Let's see. 58 levels plus 118. 160 plus 16. 176. Should be about one about 176. It's a very simple structure to make. Um I thought I was gonna do a four by four. But then I realized the uh, door, the dinosaur gateway wouldn't fit properly or wouldn't look good. I know it's stupid to be even worried about that, but that's what I was thinking about. So I decided if I'm going to build one, I might as well make it look a little bit decent. So I decided to go, instead of 4x4, four four, I went with 5x5. Five five. Uh, actually, I went 4x5, I think. Is that right? One, two, three. No, I did it with 4x4. Four four. What am I thinking? Never mind. There we go. Nice. Oh boy. I am tired. I've been doing a lot today. Both in real life and in the game. It took me a, about an hour to build this whole thing because I just ran around grabbing all the structures myself. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh yes, things. Once he tames up, uh, what's a good name? Well, we named the Trident on Boeing. Uh, what's another name for an air? What's another air company name? Douglas? 
Sure. I'll name him Douglas. Why not? I mean, he's male. That'll work. Anyway, um... Once I get him tamed up, I'll go over here and I'll gather some metal, and I'll show you a, two, the two really neat things about uh, RG saddles. Well, our, one, one neat thing about the RG saddle, and then one neat, neat thing about RGs in general. I thought I told you to get out of here, stupid pig. Man, shoot. Annoying ass thing. Built the uh, one time I built a structure like this, but I left the bottom floor as doorways, like this. But I didn't put doors in them, and a bunch of raptors came after me while I was trying to tame something. I ran inside like, ah, they can't get me. And I forgot raptors can go through doorways. <laughs> they went straight to the door and surrounded me. I'm like, ah, and they killed me. It sucked. Lost that not high level tame too. Came back with a shotgun and killed every one of those raptors. Actually, no, I did not. I killed the two smaller ones, and I tamed the big one. So it's like, well, they cost me a tame, and I'm just... Oops, there we go. Uh, Douglas. Is it Liss or Less? Doug Douglas? Doug I'll look it up later. Alright, first things first. Let me have all that. And that. You don't need that. You can have the red meat. Here's your saddle. And that's the unique thing about RG saddles. Look at that. It's basically a mobile smithy. I can make any item on this list as long as I put the stuff in his inventory. It's really cool. All right. Let's look at his stats here. Level 176, uh, 2,800 health, 900 stamina. That's nice. 632 weight. Not bad. Uh, and 293 me melee damage. Okay, that's pretty good. Only 100% movement speed, but, you know, he... RGs aren't meant for speed. They're meant to just go. Alright, let's see. Behavior, attack target, neutral. Um, behavior, follow, low. Okay. I love how they walk. <laughs> it looks so goofy when they walk. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> anyway. Come on, Boeing. Actually, never mind. You stay there. Forgot I was going to do this other thing. Alright. Let's see. Alright, now let me show you the other cool thing about RGs. Oh, it's already got a level. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> Alright. Let's get some metal, make sure I'm close to him. Close enough, let's... Oh no, I'm over encumbered. Oh no, I'm over encumbered and cannot move. What shall I do? Uh oh, if only I had something that could carry the weight. Okay, that was terrible. Check this out metal, 300 pieces, 300 pounds, right? Boom, 150. You put stuff like that into his inventory, it's half the weight. Stone, 25. Look at that. Now keep in mind, this weight adds to whatever you have on you. So as soon as I get on him, uh, uh, it's going to go up even more. See? Not by much, because I don't have it much on me. I'm just going to dump this meat. It's going to go bad anyway. Before I get a chance to use it. Oh, so I got level 2. No, I got a level. Never mind. Uh, it's 2 health. Alright, let's see, what, what can I get at level 78? I think that's a T-Rex saddle, isn't it? I think we were talking about that earlier, weren't we? Spinosaurus saddle. Ooh. There it is, Rex saddle. Might as well go ahead and unlock it. <laughs> Man, I am leveling up a lot faster than I thought I was. I, I guess I should have turned the... Uh, yeah, I probably should have turned the, the thing down just a little bit. There is some... Uh, okay, yeah, I almost forgot to mention. There is some tech stuff that you can make, even though you don't. I don't have access to a tech generator. A tech jump pad. A uh, tech bridge. Um, there's a couple other items here. Oh, oh, I almost forgot about this. This is a, another mod I put in the game. It's a fabricated tranquilizer sniper rifle, or trank rifle. 
Now, the only way to use trank darts is with the long neck rifle. The long neck rifle only fires one shot at a time. It just goes, pew, go, reload, shoot again, pew. You know, it's kind of annoying. So I decided to get one of these. Now, the only problem is this doesn't work very well, and I don't think it counts as well as it should. So I may or may not use it. So I haven't unlocked it yet. All this other stuff. C4, I can make C4 and blow up dinosaurs. That's fun. Not really. Here's the glider suit I was talking about. This is from another, another let's see, I think it's... Is it, is it Aberration, I think? Yeah. Because you have to have blue gems in order to use it. Which, I don't have any. Anyway. Let's get some obsidian while we're here. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to hit you. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. Let's go fly. Yep. Come on, Boeing. Let's go. Now, Boeing is a lot faster than Doug's, so this is going to be annoying. As you can see, he's going to do circles around us. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Bowling is trying to make fun of Douglas. Too slow, too slow. Look at this. Whee! Whoosh! Ha ah, Faster than you. Whee! Look at that. Whee! You're too slow. Ha ah. ha! Damn it, Bowling! Knock it off! <laughs> anyway. I'm actually holding shift to try to go faster, but we've got so much weight, it's just not moving. I'll probably take Douglas and uh, go kill a bunch of stuff and get him some good levels, get him some more weight and... Uh, movement speed. That way we can carry some more stuff. What? Knock it off, Boeing. Damn it, Boeing. Boeing, stop it! There. Alright, let's move Douglas over towards the Farness. Farness. Oh my god. I need to go ahead. I can't even talk. All right, let me have everything. Now, really quick here before I forget. Uh, when you want to transfer everything in your inventory to something else, uh, when it comes to dinosaurs, if you want to transfer, say I want to transfer all of this to my inventory, if I try to do it one at a time, it won't. It'll only give me enough until I'm full. Sometimes you can hit transfer all, and it'll give you everything. Not always. Or at least it used to when I did. I don't know if it's still Anyway. Alright, we got a nice chunk of metal coming here soon, so that's gonna be good. We're gonna need that so we can make some armor. Make metal armor. It's called flak armor. Also make guns and stuff. It's also helpful. Oop, too much. All right, well, I think this is going to be it for the... Yeah, that's, that's... What the hell am I saying? That, that's it. Der, der, what? Oh, my God. Grief. My head is just... Uh. That's going to be it for this video, is what I'm trying to say. Sheesh. I've got quite a few things left to work on, really. So. Got to get Douglas some levels so he can carry stuff better carry more stuff and I also want to get some levels to Boeing because right now Boeing has 1100 oh, crap. Uh, 1100 health only 295 sta 92 stamina which is terrible a measly 235 weight but 167 movement speed and he has a 300 and almost almost 400 percent melee damage probably gonna get him to 400 percent melee damage focus on getting him to at least 180 movement speed and then pump nothing but stamina well, stamina and weight. This health should be okay, just make sure I don't get hit by anything. The reason I want him fast and able to carry weight, at least a little bit of weight, is not because I want to go get metal with him or anything like that. No, no. What I want to do is use him 
to go get a Magnusar egg. Now, I'll have to explain what a Magnusar is some of the time, because it's going to take too long for me to say anything. You're just a big pigeon, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? I'm just waiting for him to bite my head off. <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right, well, so we have our RG. Um, next up is going to be... Uh, whoops. I forgot you can't stand on the edges. Come on. There we go. Uh, next up, uh, make sure we get enough metal so we can make our, our guns and other things we need. And uh, I'll probably finish the house first. Obviously, it'd be nice if the house was finished. Make the roof the landing zone for the uh, flying dinos. I'm probably going to use one of these other rocks if I can get to one that's flat enough, which really there isn't much in the way of options for that. I would make that ocean platform that I have available here. Uh, where is it? Wooden ocean platform, but I don't know where to get the shell fragments. I have no idea what that is. To make an ocean platform and put it like right here in the center. Then I could have more dinosaurs sit on that and stuff like that. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, like I said. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. If you didn't enjoy it, you still know what to do. Either way, thanks for watching.